Hey everybody, how you doing? This is about to be a really fun video. I'm gonna cut straight to the chase. I'm super excited about this video. I got the Mossberg Patriot in 308 to group very well. Several under one inch groups at 100 yards. Check this out. So I purposefully bought this Mossberg Patriot in 308 because it says it has such a bad reputation. So Mossberg Patriot 308, there are quite a few channels that have done many video series on these showing that they're just absolute lemons. It's seemingly every single Mossberg Patriot in 308 you pick up is a heap of garbage. Will not group at 100 yards. This one started off the same way. You guys that watched the show saw me sight this in. Did terrible with the first stuff I tried. Then I did a whole nother video, part two, with five different loadings not a single one came even close to being under an inch group a bunch of you guys said keep testing so so far in this Mossberg Patriot 308 I have fed over $400 worth of ammo you shouldn't have to to spend as much as the rig costs to find the ammo it likes but I did and I found several and let me show you real quick I went out to the public range today and tested all these let me show you what i took out there and then we'll get right to the footage i'm pretty excited about it comment down below which one you think won winchester super x in 150 grain it likes those then uh winchester deer season copper impact also 150 grain and i also tested these Normal whitetails, also in 150 grain. Then also a heavier one. This is normal bond strike, has the blue tip. This is the heavyweight, 180 grain. And then also the Hornady American Whitetail. There were several people that said that I should try this. So I tried it. These are Hornady 150 grain interlocks. So Let's get right to the footage. I'm not going to drag it out. Um, this Mossberg Patriot, I feel a lot better after filming this footage today at the range. Uh, but yeah, this is the True Timber Camo pattern Mossberg Patriot. Uh, you know, it's got a cool bolt knob. It's a fluted bolt, has a fluted barrel, has a threaded barrel. Today at the range, I put my Silencer Central Vanish 30 on there. They come threaded. But let's see how it did with these five uh, new loads. I've got a bunch of ammo through this thing at this point. But we did finally find some factory stuff that it liked. And if these were the first ones that I tried, I probably would have been impressed with this thing right out of the box. Let's roll that footage from today. All right, let's see if we can make a miracle happen. First... Norma Bond Strike 180 grain. I'm just going to do this with no talk and then we'll measure them all at the end. Hmm. Not terrible, but not great. Either that went crazy or it went in the same hole as the other one. Might have gone in the same hole. Uh, now let's go Hornady Whitetail. That was it. That's going to be getting close to half an inch group. So, wow. We might have found it. <clears throat> oh, what's next? Winchester Super X. 150 grain Winchester Super X. 
That last one with the good group was this stuff. I don't think I showed you the box, but Hornady American Whitetail, 150 grain interlock. Here's a Winchester Super X. Hit low too. Pretty sure that's another group of three touching. Hmm. With some cheap Winchester. Now the last one, copper impact, 150 grain Winchester. Yeah, that's a three inch group with the coppers, but let's uh, see you back in the house and we'll measure those. I might end up having to keep this Mossberg if it's gonna do that. But we'll see you at the house when we measure them. All right, so I think I said it earlier. If I had started with this stuff, I might've been impressed with this Mossberg Patriot right out of the box. But this thing has been the most pickiest, the pickiest bolt action that I can ever recall. You guys that watch the show, we got hundreds and hundreds, and we literally have thousands of videos on this channel where I'm doing tests such as this. I don't ever recall one being so picky, meaning two and three inch groups consistently out of the box. That typically means you have a lemon, get rid of the thing. Well, because you guys asked and asked and asked, we went and got more stuff to test like I showed you earlier. And guess what? It actually did pretty good. Um, first one here, the normal bond strike 180 grain, 1 1.10 inch group. In most people's books, that's probably acceptable out of a Mossberg Patriot, pretty budget friendly. Most people would probably be pretty happy with that. Take it out in the deer woods. Then over here, we got the uh, normal whitetail 150 grain. That's three, but one of those was two in the same hole. Uh, I probably could do even better with that uh, if we sat down and did like the whole box of every single one of these. But that one out of the range today, I got under an inch. That's the first one, 0.99 inch group. Then uh, down here, the Hornady American Whitetail. These three right here. That's this box right here that some of y'all were telling me to test. Uh, 0.57, almost a half inch group out of the Mossberg Patriot. Now this one right here is an absolute garbage group, uh, 2.86 inch group, that's that copper stuff. So this is typical of what I was getting out of it in my previous two or three testing videos, almost everything, hot garbage groups out of this. But then again, here's the winner. Some of the best groups I've ever got, 0.35 inch group at 100 yards with the Mossberg Patriot. The winner today is the Winchester Super X 150 grain. That's some of the cheapest, cheapest hunting ammo that you can get your hands on. Walmart special stuff. Winchester Super X PowerPoint 150 grain. Now, you never know until you try. Uh, this thing liked. Pretty much the cheapest ammo you can get that winchester super x um my friends uh some of you guys probably watch their shows the backfire show with jim and gavin on the ultimate reloader they've got several videos both on their channels of the mossberg patriot doing a bunch of stuff like this and even worse hot garbage groups i texted them today in a, a uh a group chat and said you guys will never believe what i got the mossberg patriot 308 to do today and i sent him a picture of that and i sent him a picture of that and uh jim from backfire he said he would be impressed if i could duplicate it so i think we're gonna have to do another one part four part five where i'll just take this whole box and i'll just group test the whole box and then I'll take this whole box and I'll just group test the whole box. This Mossberg Patriots cost me a bunch of money in ammo. I've literally got 
as much at ammo as I do uh, picking up the thing. But hey, the Mossberg Patriot in 308, we got evidence today out there at the range. It's not a hot piece of garbage. It liked, I'd say, four out of five of the things that we tested today. 1.1, that's not too shabby. Under an inch, right here. Uh, two in the same hole. Three touching, 0.35, and then over here, a 0.57. That's pretty good. Um, but hey, that's what happened today. Uh, is what it is. I got an Arkin on here. This is the Arkin LH4. This is the budget-friendly line. It's more of a hunting scope. Um, the LH line is the most affordable line of the Arkins. Uh, th this one has the 24 zoomies. They have one with less magnification that's even cheaper than this one. But keeping the whole thing budget-friendly, I put the second cheapest Arkin on here. You guys that watch the show know we get 25% off Arkin Optics. Definitely check them out. I highly recommend the Arkin. Best bang for your buck in the optics game. It's pretty much all I put on things now. 25% off. Code Hootie Who on Arkin Optics. But stay tuned for more on this. Um, threaded 308. Budget friendly. Uh, this is the cheapest 308 that I have. And we got it to work today. But hey, I'm not going to drag it out any further. You guys saw what happened there at the range. Appreciate y'all watching. Stay tuned for a whole lot more. Make sure you're subscribed. Got the bell wrong. We have new videos every single day, y'all. I work crazy hard filming a banana crazy amount of footage uh, to bring to y'all every single day. Don't forget to check out hootiehoo.com. Make sure you're signed up for my newsletter. I'm doing giveaways and stuff on there all the time. Appreciate y'all watching. New merch up on the site. We got new inventory. I've been wearing this one for two years. If you get a hat, I promise it won't be dirty. It'll be brand new. Uh, but hey, we got that shirt, sweatshirts, all that stuff on hootiehoo.com. Appreciate y'all watching. Stay tuned for more. We'll see you guys in the next one. Hootie hoo. Oh.